Space-time block coding-based transmit diversity (STTD) is a method of transmit diversity used in UMTS third-generation cellular systems. STTD is optional in the UTRAN air interface but mandatory for user equipment UE. STTD utilizes space-time block code STBC in order to exploit redundancy in multiple transmitted versions of a signal. STTD is one of numerous open-loop transmit diversity schemes which also include phase-switched transmit diversity PSTD, time-switched diversity TSTD, orthogonal transmit diversity OTD, and space-time spreading STS The aim of all of these schemes is to smooth the Rayleigh fading and dropout effects observed when using only a single antenna at both ends of a radio link in a multipath propagation environment. Diversity improves link reliability for each user over time, especially near cell edges in the absence of soft handoff, and also the average performance of an ensemble of users at any particular instant. Not being reliant on slow channel state feedback from the mobile i.e. user equipment means that open-loop STTD is almost immune to Doppler shifts associated with high UE speeds and is the preferred method for this scenario. However, an open-loop transmit diversity scheme must not degrade performance for a user close to the base station where the channels may be line of sight and nearly ideal. Since STTD is an orthogonal coding system this is also guaranteed. STTD can be applied to single symbols in QAM, CDMA code words, or subcarrier symbols in OFDM and the transmit method has become standardized, especially in 3G cellular wireless as described below. The transmitter coder takes consecutive pairs of data symbols S1, S2, normally sent directly from one antenna. For two transmit antennas the symbols S1, S2 are transmitted unchanged from antenna number 1 while simultaneously from antenna number 2 is sent the sequence S2 S1 At the receiver some linear algebra is needed for decoding. Consider the complex channel gains H 1 H 2 Display style H underscore 1, H underscore 2 between the TX elements and the single RX element are already known at the receiver. The received signals in the two time slots are H 1 S 1 minus H 2 S 2 H 1 S 2 plus H 2 s 1 display style h underscore 1 s underscore 1 h underscore 2 s underscore 2 carrot asterisk h underscore 1 s underscore 2 plus h underscore 2 s underscore 1 carrot asterisk with some added noise n 1 n 2 Display style n underscore one n underscore two. By conjugating the second received symbol within the receiver, we can write the matrix equation x one x two equals h one minus h two h two h one S one S two plus N one N two display style begin B matrix X underscore one X underscore two carrot asterisk and B matrix equals begin B matrix H underscore one and H underscore two H underscore two carrot asterisk and H underscore one carrot asterisk end B matrix begin B matrix S underscore one S underscore two carrot asterisk end B matrix plus begin B matrix N underscore one N underscore two carrot Asterisk end B matrix and the least squares solution is to solve for S1 and S2 by matrix inversion S carrot 1 S carrot 2 equals H1 minus H2 H2 H1 minus 1 X 
1 x 2 equals 1 h 1 h 1 plus h 2 h 2 h 1 h 2 minus h 2 h 1 x 1 by 2 display style begin b matrix hat s underscore 1 hat s underscore 2 carrot asterisk end b matrix equals begin b matrix h underscore 1 and h underscore 2 h underscore 2 carrot asterisk and h underscore 1 carrot asterisk end b matrix carrot minus 1 begin b matrix x underscore 1 x underscore 2 carrot asterisk end b matrix x equals 1 over h underscore 1 h underscore 1 carrot asterisk plus h underscore 2 h underscore 2 carrot asterisk begin b matrix h underscore 1 carrot asterisk and h underscore 2 h underscore 2 carrot asterisk and h underscore 1 end b matrix begin b matrix x underscore 1 x underscore 2 carrot asterisk end b matrix this is called the zero forcing solution it attempts to drive interference between the symbols to zero by a process of weighting linear combinations of the received signals at the two time samples and works perfectly in the absence of errors and noise. Note that in the inscrutable 3G specifications, for example TS 125.211, a consecutive pair of transmitted QPSK symbols, after coding, interleaving etc. is defined by a logical binary string of four bits, B zero B one B two B three Display style B underscore zero B underscore one B underscore two B underscore three representing in phase and quadrature components and S one equals two B zero minus 1 plus i 2 b 1 minus 1 s 2 equals 2 b 2 minus 1 plus i 2 b 3 minus 1 Display style S underscore one equals two B underscore zero minus one plus I two B underscore one minus one S underscore two equals two B underscore two minus one plus I two B underscore three minus one. Here minus S one equals two B zero minus one plus I two B one minus one S two equals two B two minus one plus I two B three minus one Display style S underscore one carrot asterisk equals two overline B underscore zero minus one plus I two B underscore one minus one S underscore two carrot asterisk equals two B underscore two minus one plus I two overline B underscore three minus one where overbar means logical inversion. For CDMA, STTD is applied to whole code words rather than consecutive chips. In OFDM applications such as Long-Term Evolution LTE, to transmit element STTD is optionally applied just as above while there is also a four-element option. See also Diversity scheme Multiple input and multiple output MIMO Space diversity 
Spacetime Coding (STC). <laughs>